I don't know much history on how you got into this or anything, except that, you know, when you're talking about doing shows in Florida and everything, that mm -hmm. I was like, well, this guy's been around, you know, yeah. I've been places. I mean, I've traveled and done shows with my wife because she's an artist. Mm -hmm. um, but so to start off, um, I'm here with the legend, Larry Haynes. And, um, you know, two questions we get are like, uh, do you mind being called legend? <laughs> Yeah, I don't really consider myself a legend. No. Yeah, you're still alive. I'm still here. Yeah, yeah it's, it's funny that way. I, the uh, people that brought me along to do this job are, uh, I guess I was legend up there. I knew more about stuff than anybody else around as far as a little bit of this and a little bit of that. So mm -hmm. that's how I ended mm -hmm. up here again in Harlingen, Texas. Mm -hmm. um, so when did you start painting? I mean, you went to school at Houston, U of H? Uh, yes, uh, yeah, I've been have painted all my life. Uh -huh. and, uh, all of my arts teachers mm -hmm. kept saying, you know, uh, you, if you want to pursue that, you can do it. Oh, you know, you're one of the few that comes through that mm -hmm. can do it. And so they told my parents, if I wanted to, just let me go. And uh, my dad had a construction business and I, I worked in the construction business for years with him. We built all kinds of stuff all over the place. But I always wanted to paint, so I always have been painting mm -hmm. on the side. And um, well, can you can you give me some years? Like when what when, when what year are we talking? That you, okay, you... I, I, this is back in the uh, late fifties, early sixties. Okay, and I worked with my dad uh, through about these were my high school years. So I worked with him till around sixty nine. Uh, that's when I got married, and then, and then I got drafted. <laughs> oh, so uh, when I got back, I uh, worked with him a little bit more, but I found a job as an advertising artist at uh, a, a place in Brownsville. So I went and did that, and I really was enjoying in the art field, which is what I wanted to do anyway. Uh, so I started painting... Uh, birds because I was really uh, really into birds when I was in high school mm -hmm. and I, I started selling a few of them. Well, where did you go to high school? Harlingen High School. Well, so you're this is home. I grew home. up right here. Yeah. <laughs> okay. okay. So uh, I started selling some of them which was really exciting and uh, then uh, we, I went to the University of Houston and s took art there and was selling my bird paintings there at different little local galleries and little local art shows and ran into somebody from the Houston Audubon Society and they said well, they've got a lot of work if I wanted to do it so I painted birds for them for a couple of years helps me get through college and uh, well now this was after you did military time this or? was after I got out of the military so I you, went under the GI Bill that's what I was going to ask yeah. yes no, I went under the GI Bill mm -hmm. And uh, I spent uh, six years at University University of Houston, but I was just taking the the last years were just everything that I could get that you had to have a lot of a lot of hours to get. Mm -hmm. So I was really really enjoying that, mm -hmm. and uh, so um, got a chance to move back to the valley after I got out and uh, started doing art shows all over the state. Mm -hmm. We would do every the Saturday art shows. We st my wife and I started doing them, and I was doing birds. So what what year are we into now? Now we're in the seventies. Okay. Seventies, uh, uh, early eighties. Right. Uh, in the seventies, though, I did a show in Houston. It was a bird for a birding outfit, and it was all birds. But I put two fish in it. I put a tarpon, and I put a billfish, which I'd never painted fish before in my life. They stole the show. Nobody talked about my birds anymore. They all they just ran around. So I thought, wait, maybe I'm onto something here, because you look around, there's not anybody painting fish. At least back then, there wasn't. And I was always painting ducks and deer for the deer hunters and the quail, and I did all that. So then I started switching over to fishermen, mm -hmm. and uh, that's when it really took off for me. Huh. So, that's cool. <laughs> so that's, I did all art shows and we did fish. Mm -hmm. And some of the shows we'd sell out, some of the shows we wouldn't sell anything. 
Well, so did you go to Florida on these shows? I did. I was, uh, I did, I did a, a, a Texas uh, Kingfish, the Ladies Kingfish Tournament, and there was some people that was in it that were from Florida. And he said, we have a huge Kingfish Tournament in Jacksonville every, day, every year called J Jacksonville Kingfish Tournament. He said, would you like to come as our mm -hmm. guest artist? If you, you do a poster for us and sign it, all expenses paid, and you can set up your art and sell it. Well, that was really exciting. <laughs> so for a year, I worked on it. I did their poster, worked on paintings for a year, went over there, and uh, we did r real well. And so they were excited about it. So they had me come back the next year for the same thing again, and it did real well again. Then I ran into a guy that they did the... Uh, uh, it's a it's a billfish St. Augustine billfish tournament. Mm -hmm. He says, "Would you like to come over and do the exact same thing for us?" Uh -huh. And I said, "Absolutely." So I went over there, and that went over real well. So my wife and I were actually thinking about moving and taking our kids to over to Florida. Yeah, and but there was just. Too many people. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm a hometown Texas boy, and I was just too many people. So we came back and uh, opened the fly shop. Now, now, what year are we up to? Because you know, when you and I crossed paths for the first time, it was not that long ago. It was probably 2010 or something like that. When did you open the fly shop? Yeah, we opened it in uh, 90. I think it was 99, okay. 98 or 99. All right. And so, as I recall, and you just correct me for my vision but it was a framing right here is the main part of it and then the fly shop was another like room actually right this fly shop was the big was what we started oh with. really and my paintings were selling pretty well but framing is very expensive yeah so i thought here i've got this building i've got a bunch of room in the back mm -hmm. we're going to open up a framing shop because my wife and i did framing in houston for mm -hmm. some some of the local galleries so we learned how to do it and we knew what we were doing so i we went and got well, all the suppliers and talked to them and we started opened a framing business mm -hmm. back there which framed my artwork to sell in the shop right. and we were framing everybody else that wanted anything framed. And then comes the condos the boom oh yeah, yeah. she had had the three island decorators were working with her and uh oh yeah so that was doing really well uh i was getting really really popular uh the uh, Sea Ranch Marina approached me about painting a big mural in there as you walk into their restaurant. Mm -hmm. uh, so I, I did that. Uh, that's a task. Oh, that took about three months. Yeah, that's that's a deep deep hole. Three there. high, three yeah. level scaffolding to get yeah. up to that top ceiling. Man, and, and to translate a, a, a painting to <laughs> that's that was a job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. I'd draw them about this big. Yeah, uh, and then yeah. I would with a graph yep. with a graph yep. I would and then draw them on a yep. and, and put them on the wall yeah. and then paint them. My wife has supervised some uh, murals in, in downtown Denton and been involved with them, and it's it's a task. It's a it's a job. Yeah, it's a job. Really so I, anyway, I got kind of doing that around town. I had uh, some uh, did some murals in the Sapphire and some other place, uh, uh, some other stores that are no longer in business anymore. But I did murals around town, and uh, like I said, my art was selling real well out of the store. It, now that's your story. Did you live down there in Port Isabel? Yeah, we did. We moved. We moved to uh, Port Isabel, mm -hmm. uh, and we lived in Port Isabel for four or five years. Mm -hmm. And we bought a house in Laguna Vista, and we lived in Laguna Vista the rest of the time. Oh, I got you. But, right. Excuse me. Anyway, Tift asked me if I would do their trophies oh, one year. Texas International Fishing Tournament. So I did those. That was a huge job. There's eighty something paintings and the first year we did it it was all original paintings mm -hmm. and I told them and they asked me to do it went over real well mm -hmm. and asked me to do it again and I said yeah but let's not do paintings 82 paintings I'm gonna do first place right. and I'll make a print of the first place paintings for the second and third division okay. third, third place so 
that took a lot of pressure off of me, but it's still a lot of work. We could yeah. frame 80 paintings. And anyway, I did that for several years. Uh, they, every now and then they would say, well, we want to try somebody else. I said, more power. I'm great. Yeah. Go for it. You know, mm -hmm. I think every artist should. Right. Uh, I said, uh, my only deal is I want it to be a Texas artist. Right. I said, that's the only thing I request of you guys, yeah. it, but go for it. And they did that for a year or two, and they came back and said, no, you're not as, they're not as popular as you are. We want to do it again. So it got to the point I was doing it every year for 10 or 15 years, mm -hmm. every year. Yeah. So that takes you up to, when did you? Last year was the last one I last did. Year? And I, I really, uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm enjoying just painting paintings right yeah. now. Yeah, <laughs> I could tell. You can get up at four thirty in the morning and, and go to bed when you want, and no, the pressure's off. No pressure. The right. pressure thing. Yeah. Man, yeah. that's that's the thing. It's just tough with pressure. So, uh, and I have a, a huge uh, enough following that you know, I want a gallery. Because uh, when I lost mine at the shop, it was it was hard. And then I got in with a gallery on the island, and that worked really well for years. But she moved on to a, a different deal. I think mm -hmm. she started getting into decorating or something. Mm -hmm. And so I don't have a gallery on the island anymore. <laughs> well, they sell really well out of, out of yeah. the gallery. And, but I have a following that I can post something on Facebook or I have a, I actually have a list of people that are collectors mm -hmm. and generally I can sell a painting before or it's, it's finished yeah yeah that's the life right there that's why the fly shop was doing so much better than the shop on the island because it was it, it was not like a store it right like here's camaraderie this, like this. was yeah. there everybody right. came in to visit right and, Oh no, it was a stopping point. It was right there. People mm -hmm. still ask me, well, that's another reason I'm here today is because people say, well, Larry's still alive. I'm like, yeah, he's alive. <laughs> <laughs> like, we, I get the same thing for me. I've had my close, close brush with death myself. So it's like, you know, people go, oh, you're still here. <laughs> not quite as excited about me being here. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so I'm bringing, I'm just really want people to know that you're still kicking hard and, oh, yeah. and that, um, yeah, that you're still painting. Yeah, I mean, it's just paint fantastic. Every, every day. Do you? You never get tired of it. Uh, when I'm under a lot of pressure and I got a lot of things to do, yeah, I, I do get tired mm -hmm. of it. But if I'm doing something that I want to do, mm -hmm. I don't get tired of it. Okay, so if you're under no pressure and there's no deadlines, what would what do you do? I mean, that right? That's you. That's yeah. That's what I'm doing right yeah. now. Yeah. Uh, uh, I didn't know if you strayed off into naked women or... <laughs> no. <laughs> Did a lot of those in life drawing yeah, in college. Yeah, you know? <laughs> got class. You got to get of that in class. Yeah, for yeah. sure. I did too. I minored in art. So, so yeah, those come yeah. strange times. But I, I paint uh, things. Uh, people come to me with commissions for all kinds of things. You know, I'll paint mm -hmm. their offshore boat with their family on it. Oh, okay. You know, and... Um, do you work from photographs when... When, when they... I do that, yes, I do. Yeah. 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 yeah, and uh, I, I, just whatever somebody wants, you know. Uh, is this, this is a commission. A guy yeah. wanted a P fifty one on the bottom. P fifty one Mustang right there. Yeah, I had to check it out because we we wanted it on around coral reefs, mm -hmm. and I'm going, well, I'm not going to paint something that's not real. So I spent days on the internet Looking, making sure that those right. planes were flew over there. Mm -hmm. they, this one left out of Guam, mm -hmm. and they flew their. Uh, attacks over to Japan, but they left out of Guam, and there was some shot down. So there's my legitimate yeah. city to paint the painting. Yeah. So, well, I didn't. I didn't know it had to be like a real. A real... I, don't, well, I don't want to paint something. Someone go, ah, it's not. That that never happened. Those planes were never over there. I, I feel like a. Oh, fool. I got you. At least historically, you want to it's be correct. In, in the ballpark. Yeah, it's correct. Okay, I got you. It, it could actually happen. I got you. I like on, on, like on this snook image over here. Um, the perspective is like in a camera, like I'm using right now, it's, it's kind of a wide angle where the fish is like foreshortened a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, is that from a photograph or is that? No, the fish, no, actually, well, um, this is a, I put together a whole bunch of stuff, okay? The, uh, the background is actually a river, 
up in Montana or oh, okay. somewhere. Uh, the roots were roots. I've changed them to mangroves, put them in places I want them, mm -hmm. but I used the idea, okay, because mm -hmm. I liked the way it sloped. Mm -hmm. This was a pile of leaves. <laughs> <laughs> so I turned into oysters and there was nothing over here. Uh, there was a, a trout swimming kind of like that, but not, mm -hmm. you know, and I thought, well, I like that and I like, you know, but I'm going to put an oyster bed in there. So, um, yeah, I probably have a picture of a snook at that angle. Mm-hmm. Uh, Where do you find those? Is, uh, take them. Oh, you do? I take a lot yeah. of pictures. I, you, uh, I like, what I like is to find a video <laughs> and take a, on the internet and, pull, and pull. watch it, the fish right. swim and freeze the yep. frame. Yep. I do that all the time. I'm pulling down images now off the video. Video is so high quality. Oh, yeah. Can, yeah, can... yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, basically, I'm just looking for the shape. You know, I'm right. going to paint this fish like I want to paint it. Mm -hmm. You know, the light and do, do everything. But... Uh, and I use, uh, I, can, I can cast a picture of a snook up to this, mm -hmm. or a picture of anything. I so it. I can put the fish's head right there, so I can get all the detail in. Gotcha. Okay. So I can, I can cast pictures from my computer, mm -hmm. and I do the same thing with my watercolor table out there. I can cast out to there. Gotcha. Well, for me, you know, this is just strictly on species talk. I mean, as a kid, we never caught many snook. No, know? we didn't. And, you know, there weren't. We did not. They were very, very rare. Yeah. And, I'd catch them under the dock accidentally when I on the Arroyo or something mm -hmm. like that. And I was like, what? I didn't know what it was. Right. At yeah, they used to call them pike, I think. I had to go home and look it up. <laughs> and so, yeah. it's interesting how you, you've been able to expand just because of the different species that have come exactly. back. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. And yeah, they've really made a huge yeah. comeback. I mean, yeah. There are lots of I've, caught, I've already caught some down here. On, I don't even know what I'm doing. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> oh, that's pretty good for me. But, um, you know, we overfished speckled trout and, you know, that population took a hit with the freezes mm -hmm. and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And as a kid, I, I hardly ever caught redfish too, you know, in the sea. Yeah, we just went out, my dad wanted trout. Yeah. And back yeah. then, he just wanted the little bitty ones. He said, if they're 12 right. inches, throw them back. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Well, I saw the strangest phenomenon. Maybe you can help me figure this out. People are out there fishing like crazy for whiting right now. Yeah. I never knew that was any kind of, I mean, they're whiting to eat, you mean? Yeah. Oh, yeah, they're good. The, the thing is, they can't be frozen very long. Mm. You need to. Yeah. Now, the, I know the winter people come down and catch a lot of them. That's who And it freeze is. them and take them back mm. and have fish fries in the right. summer. But uh, if you freeze one for a month, if you, I mean, live here and eat it, yeah. it's just like, oh, yeah. man, they taste good. Yeah. It's like a Spanish mackerel. You eat it the day you catch it. Yeah. You know, yeah. and it's real good. Right. Uh, so, and I, we, if you live here and catch fish, you, you don't you, freeze fish. <laughs> right. You just catch to eat. Catch it and eat yep. it, yeah. All right. Well, where do you go from here? Are you, are you, uh, are you, this is it? This is it. This I'm going to do this till I die. Good. I'm glad to be able to let people know that, that where you are and what you're up to, that you know, I guess, do you have a website? or you I do. It's uh, spiartist.com. Okay. All right. But I don't really sell. I mean, it's you can buy something off of there, but I don't really sell much on it. It's just a, I post my paintings on it. Okay. Uh, but if you're on my Facebook, you'll see everything that I do as I finish it. All right. All right. Well, I'd like to end this, this part of this this time because we're going to talk uh, tarpon and ladders in the surf and all that. <laughs> Okay. On the next time we get together, uh, because that is blowing my mind. Oh, okay. <laughs> so that'll be great. I'll see if I can find some pictures of those of us on those. Oh, that'd be awesome. Yeah. Just, I can't wait to see that. If you can, that'd be awesome. All right. Thanks, Larry. You bet.